This video illustrates the basic drilling protocol using the thin layer drill guide system from Guided Surgery Solutions. Here we have a patient who is to receive implants in the 29 and 30 positions. First, place the tube guide onto the dentition, then create a bleeding point by using an endo file with an insert we provide to guide it through the tube. You may also use your pilot drill and corresponding drill stop here. At this point, you may like to remove the guide and ensure you are satisfied with the entry points you had planned. Notice how retentive the guide is. This would also be the time to reflect a flap if needed. If vertical space permits, replace the tube guide and drill to depth along the planned trajectory with the disposable drill stops we provide for each drill in the sequence. Before your first case, we will design stops to work with each of your standard or guided implant drills. Thin layer guides are based upon CT scans and restorative driven virtual treatment plans. We are happy to train you on implant planning or to plan the cases with you. If you don't have room to stack your drill over the guide tube, you can instead use our tubeless thin layer guide in conjunction with the bleeding point to define their trajectory. Put the tip of the drill through the guide hole, insert it into the bleeding point, lock in the drill stop, and you will be held on trajectory. Note that this provides full visibility to the site and requires the same vertical space as freehand drilling. Please visit guidedsurgerysolutions.com for sample cases and additional information on our guides and protocols.